So we speed up a cart, and then this cart is moving on a level, horizontal, <laughs> frictionless surface, right? Imagine that that's horizontal. Uh, and we're pulling on it with a string, right? And the string is increasing the speed, and then when it's going medium fast, the pulling is stopped abruptly. Describe what happens to the cart's movement when the pulling stops. Well, so while you're pulling it, it's going to go faster and faster, right? So let's let's imagine that, that we're we're pulling it here, right? Okay, so so here is the cart, and it's not moving very fast, and then we keep pulling on it, right? It's going faster, faster, faster. And even faster, right? So, so this is this is while we're exerting the, the force. And let's let's sort of demarcate this, right? So uh, so here we are pulling, right? To the right, let's imagine, right? And then here we we stop pulling. There's no pulling, no pulling. Okay. So so uh, after we stop pulling on it, whatever that speed is at that moment there, it's just going to continue to have that speed. Imagine, whoops, imagine that that's the same length. Okay. Keep these guys the same length. So these guys should all be the same length, even though, you know, my artistic skills lack, right? Okay. So as soon as we stop pulling, the speed will stay exactly the same. Okay. While we are pulling, then the, um, the the speed is in constantly increasing, right? Okay. Uh, describe in words what happens. To, okay, so it speeds up while we're pulling. When we stop pulling, it just continues to coast at the same speed. I think that's those are words, right? Uh, illustrate with motion diagrams, force diagrams. Okay, so let's let's um let's do our force diagrams here. Those are easy, right? So for all of these guys in this position here, right? Um, we've got the force that the Earth is exerting. And the force of the surface, right? And those will be the same. They're, this is a horizontal surface. It gets a little dodgy. So these guys would all be the same. We'd have the same upward force, the force of the surface, force of the of the earth. Okay. Okay. Force of the earth. Force of the earth. Right? And then the force of the surface. And all of these forces, by the way, are identical. So the vertical forces is, are really sort of tedious here, right? They're all the same. This, the earth is pulling down, the surface is pushing up. Um, and then here, even when we stop pulling, the earth, the force that the earth is exerting doesn't change. The force the surface exerts doesn't change. Imagine that the surface is level, right? So vertically, in the vertical direction, that's what you'd have, right? We'd have the surface pushing upward and the earth pulling downward. And these, these forces are all going to be the same in magnitude, the upward forces in the opposite direction of the downward force. Um, if we do the horizontal forces, after we quit pulling, since it's a frictionless surface, there would be no force acting to the right or the left, nothing in the horizontal direction. But while we're pulling, whatever that horizontal pulling force is, right? brought above the velocity that would just be constant whatever that is that's the i'll call that the force of the pull or just f okay so the, whatever that force is we're exerting that stays constant now notice that the force stays constant but the velocity gets bigger and bigger right because it's accelerating but the force just stays constant a constant um constant speed actually that's the assumption i'm making okay so what assumptions did I make? I'm making an assumption that the surface is level and, and there's no friction and that this force that we're exerting is a constant force, okay? Uh, and then we then they want us to draw some graphs here, right? So uh, let's draw the velocity graph first, okay? Um, our velocity graph is gonna look like, I wish I, okay, I'll, I'll just draw the velocity over here, okay? So velocity and time, okay? While we're pulling, the velocity is going to increase. Assuming it's a constant force, that, that will increase at a constant rate. And then when we stop pulling, then it levels off. It just stays at a constant speed. So like that, right? So imagine that that's a horizontal line. Okay, imagine that that's a straight line and that it slopes like that. Let's look at the, the uh, position graph. If we do a, a, a X versus time graph, 
the part where we're pulling is going to get steeper and steeper. So it's going to be a curve up. Okay. And then when we stop pulling on it, it's going to be whatever that slope is. Be just constant like that. Okay. So let's imagine that I have artistic skills, right? This part here would be curved and upwardly concave. And then the dotted line, this is where we stop pulling it, right? This would be a straight line. Straight, imagine I can spell straight, right? Straight line. And it would, it would, um, it would have, by the way, it would be tangent. So whatever this thing would do, it would curve up and whatever that last slope was, it would just maintain that slope. Because of course the slope of this line is what this line, this graph is, okay? So I think we've answered that. What assumptions did we make? I don't know I'm good at that. I think we assumed that it was a constant force because they don't say a constant force. Um, yeah, no, I think 